Oh, how's that? Yeah, that's cool. Still yeah. good. Oh, they went. Oh, the team went hit him. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, the team went hit him, yeah. Okay, so when I crank him in, I think we'll drag to the to the to the to the right. Thanks for joining me, gang. Tonight we'll be preparing uku three ways. First, fresh uku sashimi. Second, crispy uku karage. Third, we'll wash it down with a bowl of fish broth. And you'll want to stick around to the end. We'll also have a mystery bonus dish. Let's go. All we have to do now is catch the bait fish. I will be using a latex glove as a lure, cut into one and a half inch strips. Just another way to use your PPE. We'll be targeting Halalu as our bait fish of choice today. Oh, come off. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of right in front of you, like that side. Small guy. Are. We're lucky to be able to catch some beautiful halalu. The bite isn't as productive today as the other days, but we'll take it. If we weren't going to use the live halalu as bait, I would have certainly loved to take them home and to cook them. One of my favorite ways is to fry until crispy. Delish. They're like on the outside. They're like on the outside. Yeah. With the sun setting, it's now time to pack up the live halalu and go to the next spot. Let's see if we can trade them in for something a little bit bigger. Please stay tuned. I'm using a simple slide bait rig, 60 pound test main line connected to a leader and a stop ring at the end. Halalu gets a hook through the nose and it slid down the line. It doesn't take long until we hook up. Wasn't expecting a uku, but I'm stoked for dinner.
some sashimi out of it, some deep fry, and we'll make soup from the bones. As you can tell, my back is never towards the ocean, always from the side. We always... Oh, here comes one right here. Oh! And here I am the next morning cleaning a fish with a rising swell. Let's go ahead and clean this guy up here. Of course, constantly looking at the ocean. So just gonna go ahead and uh, get the guts out. Just make a shallow incision so you don't pop any of the viscera. And then just take out the gills. All right, we'll go discard the guts to the ocean. The little crabs can eat that and the little fish give back and then I'll go give them a rinse. Just gonna fillet him. Not gonna make this sashimi today. Uh, I normally like to let the let the sashimi rest for about a day or a day to day and a half in the fridge. So we caught this fish last night. So tomorrow for lunchtime, it's gonna be perfect. By allowing the fish fillet to rest before serving it, it will cause the sashimi to have a soft and sweet flavor. Here's some nice, nice filet. Normally you catch this fish uh, bottom fishing uh, off boats, lives in deep water, but we were lucky enough to catch last night. We'll, we weren't going for it, but we'll, we will definitely take it. Break down the head and the bones. This is gonna make good stock. soup when we get home. Just separate it. Throw some scraps to the crabs, they'll love it. We'll take the skin home too, utilize that. So we still have little pin bones where the rib cage is. We're gonna take that out at home. But this is going into our sashimi pile. I'm just put a nice, I'm just gonna put a clean napkin here. Ice and repeat. There we are. See you guys at home. We're back home now. We're starting with these beautiful uku fillets. I'll be deboning each fillet and saving all the scraps. 
The fillets now are being cut into sashimi blocks. Each of the cut ends we'll save for frying. Now with the sashimi blocks, we'll cut into thinner slices against the grain. With the head, bones, and skin, we'll pat dry and add salt. Salt the fish with a heavy hand. Place salted fish scraps in a mesh container over a plate to allow moisture to drip off. Then place in the refrigerator. Start with fresh garlic cloves. Add a little oil of your choice. While the garlic cloves are browning and seasoning the oil, we'll whisk up an egg. Season the cut ends, which came from the sashimi block, with salt. We'll also season with shichimi togarashi, a Japanese spice blend. I'll put a link below. Each piece of fish is first coated in potato starch, then in the egg wash, and then dip back into the potato starch. And now they're ready to be fried. We'll try not to overcrowd the pan with too much fish, and we'll also check on our garlic. We're looking for a nice golden brown on the garlic. Remove the fried garlic now that it had time to season the oil and place it on the side. The fish should be golden and crispy when it's ready. Simply chop up the fried garlic and minced green onion and add to the fish. and top off with that fantastic shichimi togarashi spice. In a small bowl, we'll add wasabi and shoyu. This is what we'll use with the sashimi. And for the fried fish karage, we'll simply mix equal parts of mayonnaise and sweet chili sauce. Remove the salted fish scraps from the fridge. Empty the liquid that drained out of it and run under cool water. Remove any blood that may be present. This will ensure a cleaner tasting soup. Place in a pot with filtered water. And add a piece of kombu. Boil on medium-high heat for 35 minutes, frequently skimming the top of the soup for impurities. Remove the kombu and discard. Wow, look at that sashimi and the crispy karage with fried garlic. My mouth is watering. Lunch today will be served with steamed brown rice and sesame stir-fried broccolini. Look at that raw fish. Honestly, this was the best tasting sashimi we had in a while. Oh, and the crispy fried karage. Paired with the dipping sauce, you can't go wrong. So good. To finish this outstanding lunch, we'll end off with a clear fish soup. Drain the soup through a cheesecloth, and please do not throw away the scraps. Season the soup with salt and add to a serving dish. And here it is, a hot bowl of clear fish soup, a perfect way to finish off lunch. With just a little bit of green onion,
And now for the mystery dish. Remember the cooked fish scraps from making the soup? Pick out any leftover pieces of meat from the bones. You will need an egg, onion, mayo, garlic, panko, and paprika. Measurements in the description below. Chop the garlic and the onion and saute in a medium pan. Lightly season with salt and fresh cracked pepper. Sauteed until translucent and added to the bowl of cooked fish. With the bowl of cooked fish and sauteed garlic and onions, we'll add paprika, mayonnaise, some panko, and one egg. Mix until combined. Place a dollop of the mixture in a pan of hot oil. Cook until golden brown. And here it is, the mystery dish for dinner. Sauteed uku fish cake patties accompanied with roasted lion's mane mushroom and steamed sesame ginger broccolini. Paired with your beverage of choice. All right, gang, thank you again for joining us. We're gonna enjoy the rest of our dinner and see you guys next time.